we're back in Cookville, Tennessee for a few weeks before we head out to uh, Colorado is our next spot. We really like getting back to our hometown as often as we can. We love our hometown. We love the community. Our family from both sides is in the same town, so it gives them a chance to see Hensley. But just because we make a stop in Tennessee doesn't mean we don't keep traveling. <laughs> so. Marissa's on a girl's trip this weekend with some of her friends she's had since uh, high school. I've actually got Hensley all by myself this weekend, and I'm going on a trip as well. Uh, we're going to go spend some time with my family at a uh, Defeated Creek campground here in Tennessee. My parents have got a, a travel trailer they're using, so we're actually going to leave our RV here. I'm going to pack our Subaru to the brim because that's what happens when you have to take a toddler for a weekend <laughs> and we're going to head out and go camp with my family for the weekend until we meet back up with Marissa when she gets done on Sunday. I'm excited about this weekend because it's time with family but I'm also a little concerned because I've got Hensley on my own. <laughs> good morning sunshine. Did you have a good sleep? What do you want for breakfast? Stick. You want a stick? You and daddy's shoes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> So Marissa gave me a whole bunch of clothes to take for Hensley this weekend, but I don't really know what matches with what. So I found just a dress. I'm hoping I can't really screw that up. This is gonna be a crazy tight space for the stuff I've got to pack into this thing for the weekend. Hack and play. Hey. Thank you for helping me with the grill. Yummy. Yummy, you like that sucker? <sighs> That's not great, is it? What's in your hair? Yeah, I'll fix it later. So I've got most everything packed up. Hensley's finishing up her nap. She likes to kick a little bit as she's waking up. Once she finishes her nap, we're gonna get out of here. You wanna eat some snacks? We're gonna try this hair thing again. It didn't go too well this morning. It's better than last time, at least. Hensley, you think we got enough stuff? Yeah, me too. We are finally on our way to Defeated Creek Campground. This was an all-day deal. Getting Hensley ready, getting all the stuff packed, making sure I didn't forget anything. Um, I've definitely got some serious respects for moms that do this 24-7. <laughs> My wife does a great job of this. It's a ton of work. This campground's about an hour from our hometown. I've never stayed there. I've heard great things about it. I've visited there before, but just never actually, you know, camped there. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Defeated Creek has to offer. So I know we live in an RV and I know we downsized from 2,000 square feet down to about 300, but I still sometimes feel like we've got way too much stuff. I think being back in town has really sparked to me minimal living in general. Uh, not just RV living because if you can learn to live minimal and, and not rely on too much stuff, it makes the RV living even easier. So it's really cool to think about minimal living because if you can do that, it opens up doors to all kinds of, you know, travel overseas and tiny houses and RVs. It just opens the door to everything, gives you so much more flexibility.
since we have made it to Defeated Creek, two things stand out. One, I can't believe how crowded this place is. Um, I'm actually not sure how we got this site. I've heard that it's pretty much, it's booked up all summer long because it's, it's just beautiful, it really is. Um, and that's the second thing. When you think of Tennessee, which we're both from Tennessee, born and raised, this is what you think of when you think of just the beautiful part of Tennessee and the outdoors. That's something traveling full-time will do too. It's really sharpened our senses to nature around us. When we came back to Tennessee, we just, we almost didn't realize how beautiful it was in Tennessee. And it's like that every time we go to a state for the first time, we're like, man, this is so beautiful. This is so awesome. So it's just, it's just a great part of traveling full-time. You done with your french fry? Let's go scope this place out. Why are you still carrying that french fry, Hensley? No. You gonna eat it or what? You don't want it? Okay, thank you. So this is one of the most popular campgrounds in the Middle Tennessee area, so, and I can definitely see why. It's got a little bit of everything. The lake surrounds the campground. They got swimming areas that are uh, kind of beachfront. You've got like a little beach that leads into the swimming area in the lake, multiple playgrounds. Just a really awesome spot, especially if you've got a family. I was talking to the neighbor, even if you don't have a family, <laughs> the senior citizen discount, it's like $12.50 a night to stay here. Don't be a sissy. Come on, Hensley, do it. No. Yep, yeah, come on, do it. Come on. No. All right. No. Yeah, we travel in the off season so much that it's kind of surprising <laughs> to show up somewhere on a Thursday night and see like 90% of the sites already taken. Here's another playground, Hensley. You want to go play? All right, time to redeem yourself. Whoa. Uh -oh. You fell on the ground and hurt yourself, didn't you? Hurt. Let's not tell her mom about that. Up. Up. Okay. Up. I fell. <laughs> you did fall. That's a bad boo-boo, Hensley. Stick a water. Minimalism comes down to giving up what's not as important for what's most important. And that, that was our decision we made um, to give up a lot of the work we were doing with our jobs uh, to have less stuff so that we could spend more time with this little squirt here. <laughs> and that's not to say those things aren't important and those things aren't good, but you're always asking yourself, what's best? It's hard, it's hard to slow down and ask yourself that. If you just go with the flow before you know it, all your stuff is consuming, you've got no time and really nothing to show for it. And we felt like we were heading down that path. Luckily somebody changed our path <laughs> and that's what's led us to RV living. I mean, whether we're living in our RV or we're staying with our parents at their RV for the weekend, it's all about spending time doing the things that are best or doing things that are most important. Your journey doesn't have to look like our journey. It's about figuring out what's most important, getting rid of what's not. Okay.